Welcome back to Battlefield Hardline. It's been a little while since I uh, since I posted some footage of this game, and that's just because there's been so much going on with Battlefield 4 lately that I thought it was important that you knew what was going on over there. But I have been playing this game quite regularly, just not really posting it on my channel. So I thought I'd come back today and have a little bit of a chat with you guys about some of the other changes that are coming into Hardline very soon. There's some things in here that I think console users will be very happy with. But first of all, I wanted to quickly say that I have now unlocked the green zebra camo within Hardline. I was actually saving up like 10 million dollars to be able to unlock the dino masks and stuff like that, but in my point of view, it's just so much money involved to be able to get to that. I don't know how many people have actually done it. I have seen a little bit of gameplay with people with these masks on, but you as first person can't actually see the mask when you're wearing it. It's only visible to the other people playing the game, so I don't really know why I was saving up for it. So instead, I went ahead and bought the green zebra camo. It costs $500,000, which in itself is a, a fairly lofty target to get to. I could have unlocked the pink one, but... I wanted to go for the green first, it's just more of a boy colour, and I'll get the pink one eventually, but I was saving for those masks, but I just don't really see the point right now, and I'm really hoping that within DLC that we get access to some more masks as well, that'd be really cool, but maybe with lower thresholds, so we don't have to work so hard to get those, and I know they're not as prestigious as the ones that cost 10 million for you to actually unlock them, but it would be nice if they had some lower specifications. Maybe you need to get a certain amount of kills with this weapon, or get a certain amount of headshots with this weapon, drive a certain amount of cars. I think that would be a better way of doing it, because it was a big concern before the game came out that all these masks were just going to overrun the server, and that all you were going to see were dinosaurs running around. And that hasn't happened so far, which I think is quite good. But if you want to put the masks in, I think that they should be made achievable. So I'm hoping that within DLC we see some masks that we are actually able to unlock. But moving on from masks, I do want to talk about these community changes that Visceral have been making to Battlefield Hardline. They've dubbed them the Top 5 Community Most Wanted list. And um, looking at them in general, I'd have to say that they probably are the most high priority there on the list, but there are some things that maybe could have slipped their way in a little bit more, I think. But let's get into the list. First of all, we have Punk Buster Fixes. Now, this is mainly a PC thing. Uh, I don't think it affects consoles, but they are addressing some usage of the CPU that was far exceeding what they expected and basically made the game tank a little bit. Your frames would drop, and in some cases, the game would end up crashing because Punk Buster was using so much of your CPU. Visceral are saying that they fixed that, and that's a good thing, because I have noticed in some games when I'm playing, I could be running at like 120 FPS, and it slowly drops down to under 60 and all the way down to nearly 40 FPS. So I have to come out of the game, restart the game, and go back in again. A little bit confusing and a little bit annoying, but it's nice to know that they noticed it, and hopefully they fixed that. The second one is another PC related thing. So I don't really know why this is the top five community most wanted list because it's mainly focused on PC, these first two anyway, but they are working with Nvidia directly to update the drivers for Battlefield Hardline. Apparently, they're causing some crashing issues for certain users. I myself have been lucky not to have that so far, but I can understand why that would be frustrating. The third fix is they are extending the amount of time that Conquest goes on for. Currently, there are only 600 tickets for each team in a game of Conquest, and I don't know if you've played a lot of it. I would probably say it's one of the most popular game modes in Hardline, but it ends very, very quickly. And if one team is much better than the other, I think the game should end quickly, but not that quickly. It really is like only... It could be over in like five minutes, and especially on the smaller maps like Hollywood Heights and... and um, what, what's the oh, the block? There we go. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the name of that for a minute. That's really weird. But yeah, if you're playing on those maps, the games can end really quickly. On on maps like Dust Bowl, it's not so much of an issue. The things are more spread out. But still, it's nice to know they are extending that game game mode a little bit because it's one of the classic modes, and I think it should sort of stay as one of those longer game modes within Battlefield Hardline. The fourth fix and. I genuinely believe this should have been in the top three because the amount of people that have been complaining about this is through the roof. If you've played TDM within Hardline, 
you'll know what I'm going to be talking about. It's the spawning system. Right now, it is completely broken. You could spawn right next to an enemy, or five of them for that matter, and they just instantly kill you. And that will happen time and time and time again. I was playing the other day and I think I went through six deaths just by spawning in and getting shot instantly. It, it was really, really frustrating, especially in a game mode where you kind of shouldn't be spawning like that. You should spawn away from the action and make your way back in again. It only makes it more frustrating. But apparently Visceral have worked on that and we should see that fix go live within this patch. But I think one of those things, that remains to be seen because spawning systems are kind of like somebody's opinion whether you think they work or not. But right now, I think it's very clear that it just does not work. And the fifth and final tweak are those weapon balance tweaks that I mentioned a couple of weeks ago. If you didn't catch that video, I'll link it on the screen right now and the link's in the description for you too. I detailed all of the weapon changes that Visceral are thinking of making and I'm hoping they make some more as well because I didn't think they went far enough with those changes. A lot of people have been complaining that certain weapons are completely overpowered in this game and other weapons are just completely useless and there needed to be a much better balance between all the weapons available. I don't genuinely think they've gone far enough but hey that's just my opinion. If you want to go and watch my video though and have a look at those tweaks then by all means click the link in the description. And that thing that I mentioned console users would be really happy about yeah, rent a server. Yeah, that's coming back soon. No pricing information right now, but it will be available for the last generation consoles, the PS3 and the Xbox 360. And it will also be available for the current generation, Xbox One and PS4. A lot of people kind of envious of what happens on PC, the fact that we just get third party servers straight out of the bat. It's a little bit more difficult to do on consoles, but it's nice to see that they're bringing that back. Just before I end today's video, I want to say that I'm giving away a copy of Battlefield Hardline on the PC right now. If you want to be in with a chance of winning that, there's a link in the description that will take you to the giveaway. I've decided to do it outside of YouTube and, and Twitter this time and there's a couple of things you need to do to be able to enter. But then that way I make sure it's fair that everybody who's done all of those steps will be in with a chance of winning. It closes on Sunday so I will link it again in a video at the weekend. But make sure you get in there if you want to be in with a chance of winning Battlefield Hardline. But anyway, thank you very much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a rating, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to check out g2a.com slash r slash westy for all the greatest deals on the latest games. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.